Okay, now item B. Now is the time and place for the public hearing to hear comments and concerns on proposed plans and specifications. Proposed form of contract and estimate of cost for the sanitary sewer main improvements project. Adam, have you any written comments? I have not. Are there any oral comments? I would entertain a motion to close. So moved. So second. 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 Call for a vote. Councilman Johnston. Yes. Councilman Muska. Yes. Councilman Hansel. Yes. Councilman Frederick. Yes. Councilman Brenny. Yes. Thank you. Item number one under B is consideration of resolution number 2009 18 <coughs> entitled Resolution finally approving and confirming plan specification, form of contract, and estimate of cost for the sanitary sewer main improvements project. First. First. Mm -hmm. Do we have a second? Second. Call for a vote. Councilman Hansen. Yes. Councilman Frederick. Yes. Councilman Brenny. Yes. Councilman Johnston. Yes. Councilman Muska. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Number two is discussion of bids for the sanitary sewer main improvements project. Darren, are you going to speak to us about that this evening? I certainly can answer questions about that one as well. As you know, on Thursday at the same time of the lining project, we also accepted bids to replace the sewer that we've kind of learned as the, uh, or kind of called the ravine sewer. For roughly I believe that's over. the first one I gave Yeah, that would be the pink. We have kind of come to call this the uh, ravine sewer. And this isn't 100% accurate anymore, but roughly going along 5th Street, and under 5th Street, and then going up the ravine uh, between roughly Leonard and Platt, and up to 11th Street, which would be up in here. Basically right in front of the school is where we ended up having to stop. And uh, that included everything related to getting that built, including replacement of 5th Street, where we have to excavate. Oh, yeah. Oh, I've, I've seen it. Yeah, Bob's seen it quite a few times. <laughs> I just thought he didn't just didn't uh, see that. Oh, the, uh, it was out the uh, engineer's estimate on that project was $1,130,838. And the actual bid price came in at $822,378. So roughly $300,000 less than our estimate with a combination of PVC and ductile iron pipe. We allowed them to use either pipe at their choosing, but they had to use it from manhole to manhole. They couldn't change in the middle. And uh, Van Howen and Associates from Grimes was the low, and they offered both, they want to use both, a combination of both pipes, which is just fine. Now, are there certain places where they have to use ductile, like under the uh, I believe places? under the creeks we mm -hmm. have ductile, and it's encased in concrete. Okay. My question is if this figure is right on the bid, the aggregate trench backfill on number, item number 28, uh, you're roughly 39750 the other one's 39750 the other one's 1325 Yep. You bid a dollar, a dollar a ton, excuse me, a dollar, yeah, a dollar a ton for, for, for the material. And, uh, uh, that is solely up to his is that his discretion. Was that a mis? Was it, that's what I'm asking. Was that, did anybody did not, even ask him? Uh, I'm making a difference. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. He is bound by it. Yep, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> I mean, and, and, you see, and you see that a lot. It, it's kind of funny. Um, the, the, I understand. I'm looking through the other ones. Some of them are uh, always higher. The joke around the engineering world is that. You never know what it costs until bid day, and that's exactly true. And you can see that by the dollar a ton that he offered for that backfill. Versus a little bit goes back to the overall project. They want so much money. Exactly. If the change order, chance are it ain't going to be an ask be something else where they make more money at. Exactly. And what they're looking for is to try to get that bottom dollar yep. where they want it. With the highest money for the change order. Exactly. Now, why the huge discrepancy on item 13? Almost $100,000 from what yeah. you estimated. Yeah. I have no idea. Let's see. 
Mm -hmm. I mean, I get concerned with taking the low. Yeah, we're 182. We're going to get a hit, like you say, with the change order, though. Well, they ain't going to call it out, and they ain't going to call it out specifically in that. We're right. going to call it out something else. Well, well he's got to prove them. Yeah, the, not necessarily. Okay. And the reason is because everything on this project we bought by the unit price. Okay. If you decide to put in 3,000 feet of pipe, we pay whatever dollar figure it is for 3,000 feet of pipe. Okay. If we put in 2,800 feet of pipe, you're paying for 2,800 at the prices listed. So, so it's not backfill. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And what that means is things like I uh, <laughs> 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 a dollar a ton. Man, you had to deal with it. Um, one, one good example of that would be uh, service lines. We have no idea how many service line feet we're going to put in. Um, if we put in more, you can pay for it. If we put in less, it yeah. comes off the contract. Do okay. you feel comfortable with the way this bid is written? Yes, I do. Uh, I've worked with Van Howen and I've worked with H&W. Uh, Van Howen was the only one that showed up for, for the reading of the bids and he appeared to be comfortable. Uh, they're both competent contractors who can do the work, and he seemed to be very pleased when he left. I think you're guaranteed no change in first day. <laughs> well, we're trying. <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> we're trying. <laughs> Might be less. <laughs> yeah, it, it actually could be. I mean, yeah. if you had less but services, they, it could actually go down. But um, well, I'm really pleased with the way the bids came in. I am as well. Oh, yeah, so am I with it. Especially if you have responsible bidders and you're comfortable with them. <laughs> and, and by the way, both of these bidders were were unquestionably responsive. Uh, there was no misses in any of their bid packages. There were no blanks in any of their forms. And uh, it's definitely a good time to take pipe bids. Uh, anything else? Do you have a recommendation for tonight? I would recommend that you accept Van Halen and Associates as your contractor for the pipe replacement. So move. Is there a second? A second. Call for a vote. Councilman Johnston. Yes. Councilman Muska. Yes. Councilman Brandy. Yes. Councilman John. Or Councilman Frederick. Yes. Councilman Hanson. Yes. 